Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. 
Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, Input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Let me guess, it didn't last? No, Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. The Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end though, didn't they? Sort of, the Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q, but the sign stayed up. Out of respect. Biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? The name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm a Dale. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. We're gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. And? Like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured, you'd know. Come on, know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a Nothing's wrong. Really? A little Why don't you just tell me the rules? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, 
but in a thing, their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire.